Violent holiday weekend in Chicago leaves three other innocent people shot. The victims range from two to 65 years old. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now live from the scene where there will be a vigil for one of those victims. Hi, Mike. Hi, yeah, this is Butler College Prep that you see behind me, and one of the star students here was shot to death on Saturday night, and he wasn't even the youngest victim of the weekend's violence. That's because a few hours later on Saturday evening, a two-year-old boy was shot in his neck in the Hermosa neighborhood. Julian Gonzalez was standing on the sidewalk next to an 18-year-old when someone opened fire after two women got into a fight. The teen was hit in the leg. The toddler, though, was struck in his neck. He was rushed to the ER, where he died a short while later. Just a few hours earlier, James Garrett was shot dead. He was at a vigil near 132nd and Prairie when an argument ended in gunfire. A 20-year-old woman and a 48-year-old man were shot and injured. Garrett, though, was planning on attending Talladega College in Alabama. He had nearly perfect grades and was actually the first Butler College prep student to be accepted into college. So this morning, students here plan to gather to honor their fallen classmate. He was able to connect with any and everyone that he met. And I, I, I haven't seen many kids like him. Um, he had a relationship with every single person that he met. The oldest victim of the weekend's violence is 65. She was actually driving late Sunday morning when she heard shots ring out. One struck her side as she approached the intersection of 70th and Merrill. She's in stable condition right now. So far, no one has been arrested in any of those shooting cases. Now, the vigil for James Garrett is set to start here outside the school at 8.30 this morning. We should also mention that police plan to hold an outdoor roll call in the Hermosa neighborhood. That way they hope they might generate some leads that will lead them to the killer of that two-year-old boy. Reporting live outside the high school here, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Mike, thank you. Thank you.